All right, well, uh, I went to the Blade Show. You all know I've done a few videos on that, or I'm going to do a few videos on that. But one of the knives I came back with, and I tell you, I looked at thousands of knives and thousands of different price brackets, and I walked away with this particular knife. And this knife is fantastic. It's made by an artist. Uh, his name is Lon Humphrey. And I will post up links um, for his website on my video. And to give you a little background of kind of what I was looking for, I was looking for a knife that <clears throat> would offer me um, a stag handle, something that was under $500, and I wanted something which was a little bit larger than my Bravo 1, which everybody knows is probably my favorite real hard Something use knife. stag. I went to a custom knife show a ways back and I looked at stag handled knives and I was just so impressed with the way they look. Um, they're just, it's just going to another level. And I never thought I could really afford one. And I couldn't believe the prices that this guy had on his knives. Um, this particular one was priced at 385. Um, his prices range from about 385 to about 500 dollars. He has a few nicer pieces which go up to 1200 dollars. And he also has a website you guys can uh, visit. Um, a little critical I'm going to be. I'm going to be critical, and that and that's just what I do. Um, <clears throat> and the thing I've got to knock him on is his his website really does not show off his work that I saw. Um, at the show, I mean, I was walking past all these tables and and it, this his knives made me do a, you know, 180. I came back to look at him again. The website is less impressive. Um, it doesn't take advantage of the full size of my screen on my computer. All the pictures are basically like 5 by 5s and it really isn't showing these beautiful knives that he does. Um, they come razor sharp and look at the swedge he throws on that. That is just awesome. It could be sharpened if you want. It's not, but um, it's definitely a nice swedge. All these are hand forged um, with a hammer. He doesn't use any uh, power tools or power hammers or pneumatic hammers to do any of his work. Everything is by hand like they used to do in the old days. Um, and he just does awesome work. It's, I mean, this is just incredible. I mean, it starts off as a piece of metal and he comes out with something like this. So when it comes to his old-fashioned hunter-style knives, I'm a real fan. Um, he does have some bushcraft knives and more of a tactical type knife. Um, I'm not quite as much a fan of those because I, I think that I'm a, I'm a fan of a knife with a big handle like a Bravo 1 or like this particular hunting knife. I mean, look at that, that handle really fills your hand. It gives you a lot of control over this blade. Um, his bushcraft knives, I, I saw they didn't have the, the large handle that I prefer but I did mention that to him and he might he might take that into account he I mean he can make anything that you request uh, he does have custom work I mean there's this knife is a one-of-a-kind I own it there's no knife like it that's pretty cool um, he does uh, heat treat these himself and he heat treats them just like uh, the Japanese do with the clay and you can see the uh, little hamon line there. If I'm butchering the terminology, I apologize. And he's got some turquoise in here for me on my handle. This knife is made of W2, which is a high carbon steel, kind of like along the lines of O1. He got really scientific on me, and I'm really not familiar with W2. I'm more into the S30Vs, the 154 CMs, and different types of more exotic metals but I like the carbon steels when it comes to a survival blade. I feel that they're not as brittle. You can be harder on them 
and they maintain an edge and they get really really sharp so the few survival knives that I do have I do like the carbon steels it also comes with a all his work comes with a be beautiful sheaths that he does himself look how thick that is that is just awesome and on the inside I don't know if you can see this it's suede lined so when the knife slides in it just oh it's just just silky smooth just real silky smooth it's a rather large setup but that's that's what I was exactly what I was looking for I've looked at this knife over and over again I cannot see one defect he marks his knives what looks like a, uh, an etching it says LH on it I wish that he had put maybe some sort of tang stamp, but um, that's just me. I mean, some people might just want a cleaner look, but uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, it, he does really nice work, and it'd be really easy for someone to, uh, I don't know, have that removed or whatever. We could forget who made this knife. I don't know. Choke up on this knife, too. Beautiful blade. Highly recommend his work. Um, and uh, I'm going to cut to him at the show. Yeah, I do my own heat treating on these, and I harden them the traditional Japanese way uh, with the clay, LA clay, and uh, vertical stripes on that blade that I harden. And that gives you a differential heat treatment with a nice wavy amount. Mind being on camera, dude. Yeah, go ahead. There he is, right there. That's one badass knife there. Yeah. All right, so check out my links. You guys can check out his knives. He does have a website, and I will throw that link up there. Sweetness, absolutely beautiful custom-made knives uh, over here at the Blade Show. What I'm really impressed with is a lot of people are doing stag knives. And look at this beautiful stag that's on this knife right here. Absolutely gorgeous work. Custom made sheaths. I mean that's like the creamy stag. That stuff just makes you just want to die. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is Lon Humphrey, did I say that correct? Yes. Lon Humphrey. He also makes some tactical knives too. That way you guys can take a look at some of his knives. Absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend his knives. Great for hunting. 